call it for what it is. Let, 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 let's be real. Women cannot make decisions for shit. But you as a masculine guy, you've got to be able to make decisions. Testosterone levels are going down and stuff like that. And it's all linked to masculinity. You are what you're surrounded by, right? If you're surrounded by a bunch of weak, timid people, guess what you are? Yo! What's going on, guys? It is me, Nicholson. I'm back! And I feel like it's been forever, man. How are you actually doing? You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments, man. But today we're going to be talking about how to be more masculine, okay? And I think it's a very, very important video, especially for a lot of younger guys, because in the generation and society we're in now, a lot of guys are very feminine. Why are they very feminine? They don't do the things they're supposed to be. They're not raised by men. They're not around other men, right? There's so many things that you're not doing in order to become more masculine and just more manly in general. As far as I can look back, all throughout high school, the reason why I was bullied, or the reason why I was victimized, and the reason why I didn't get women, it's because I was a very timid guy. I was not assertive, I was not truly confident. I tried to fake confidence, right? You know when you try to be over the top because you think that's what confidence is? And then you learn over time that that's not what confidence is, right? I was just timid and shy deep down, but I tried to appear like I'm extroverted and shit. I see a lot of people like this, right? Even when I meet people in the gym, they're very timid, they're very, you can tell by their body language, they're not very masculine. First, let me get into the importance of why being masculine is very important as a man. You know what I'm saying? Number one, if you're not a fully masculine man, you're not going to be respected by women or even by other guys. Straight the fuck up. You're not going to be respected because, listen, women and men are polar opposites, right? Women have feminine energy, men have masculine energy for the most part, right? Obviously, there's outliers of where there's some women are, have more masculine energy than feminine energy, but we're not talking about that shit, right? Women are attracted to masculinity. Being masculine means you, you can make decisions. Being masculine means you're assertive. Being max masculine means you're dominant. Being masculine means you can be aggressive if needs be. That's the essence of masculinity. And a lot of people in this in today's generation and society are lacking this. Testosterone levels are going down and stuff like that. And it's all linked to masculinity. Hanging around other masculine men. That's by far the most important one. Right? The biggest change I've seen, guys, when I'm going to the gym and I'm working out and I'm seeing other men pushing heavy weights and they've got that, that masculine energy, you know what I'm saying? You know that, that, that feeling you get when you lift a heavy weight? I don't know how many of you guys have been to the gym, but when you lift a very heavy weight, you feel a sense of accomplishment. Your testosterone is up the roof, right? When you're around other people doing this, you're becoming more you're becoming more like them, right? You are what you're surrounded by, right? If you're surrounded by a bunch of weak, timid people, guess what you are? A weak, timid fucking person. But if you're surrounded by masculine, strong, assertive, you know, those kinds of guys, you're gonna become like that eventually. You are what you're surrounded by. So you need to be careful who's around you. Analyze all the people that are around you. Are these people really who you're trying to become? That should be your surroundings. Do they have characteristics and qualities that you're trying to be, that, that you're trying to adapt to yourself? Because humans have this great ab um, ability called adaptability, right? We're able to adapt to any situation, pretty much. So if you're around feminine people, right? Let's say you're around a lot of feminine women, you know what I'm saying? You like you're gonna be like that just letting you know it's not gonna be attractive to the opposite sex you know what i'm saying being a man of your word being a man of your word is masculine energy listen when you have a lot of feminine energy yeah, you're very fickle being fickle means you might say you're gonna do one thing but you're not really too fast if you don't do it as a masculine man when you say you're gonna do something you're gonna do it you do what you say you're gonna do and you say what you're gonna do as if you're a feminine guy right you're like oh you know what yeah, i'll do it and then you just, you just, oh, sorry, I didn't do it. Oh, sorry. You know what I'm saying? Being bare, fucking indirect and shit. No, masculine men are direct as fuck. Direct in the men of their word. If you say you're going to do something, make sure you follow through with it. Don't make up any fucking excuses. That's not, that's not masculine energy. That's feminine as fuck. Now, let me make this a disclaimer. Feminine energy isn't really a bad thing because even masculine men have some feminine energy. But if you want more masculine energy than feminine energy, which you should want, you know what I'm saying, if you want to be a strong guy, then you need to be doing these things I'm fucking telling you. Make sure, you know, you're assertive and dominant. Make sure you're assertive. What's being assertive? You can make decisions. All you guys that, are that know this here, you know women cannot make decisions for shit. Let's just call it for what it is. Let, 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 let's be real. Women cannot make decisions for shit. But you as a masculine guy, you've got to be able to make decisions. Do you understand what I'm saying? You've got to be your own person. You've got to be your own man. That's what being masculine, but masculine is, right? I've noticed you like I was raised by my, by my grandma, right? And you know, you know, in the second half of my life, I was raised by my mom, right? All women, right? I I barely got to see my dad. You know, I've got two step brothers. I barely got to see them see them as well, right? 
And no wonder I was fucking timid. And then as I got older, I started hanging around more guys, right? And where I work now, I started hanging around, you know, more masculine guys. I'm in the gym, masculine guys, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere. And I started becoming that, right? And you notice a lot of different stuff, like a lot more respect from people, just because of the way you carry yourself. People don't even have to speak to you and they know you're a masculine fucking person. Because of the way you carry yourself, your body language, chest out, shoulders back. It's subconscious. This is not something which you're thinking about, oh shit, yeah, well, let me get my chest out so I can show that I'm masculine. No, this is all subconscious. This is all little things you pick up, right? One thing I know is, right, when I was younger, I used to have my hand on my hip like this because my grandma used to fucking do it. It's something which, I'm looking back on it, I'm like, oh shit, I used to do that because my grandma used to fucking do it, right? But nowadays, like, when I've just naturally got my chest out, I've my shoulders back, right? I look, look people in their fucking eyes, well, that's another masculine one. You can't look away when people look you in the fucking eye. When people give you eye contact, look back. If you want to, if you respect the person, nod, right? Keep looking. You good? You got a problem? Right? You've got to be direct. You can't be indirect. And the last one, yeah, but this is a very, very important one. You must work out. Heavy, right? You need to train heavy. You can't train like a little bitch. You can't go into the gym, going through the motions. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, but I'm going to become a masculine man. I don't fucking know, right? Becoming a masculine man means doing very difficult things and having a sense of accomplishment. As a man... You're gonna see when you do hard things that many people are not willing to do, you have this sense, deep sense of accomplishment. When you lift heavy weights, people, people are not willing to fucking lift because they're lazy as fuck and, you know, they're just timid as fuck. Guess what? You're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna feel like the man. Yeah! You know what I'm saying? You're gonna have that testosterone getting higher, right? From you lifting very heavy. It's, it's been scientific, science, I can't even say scientifically. It's been scientifically proven that when you lift very heavy weights, your test goes up. It's very fucking true. Working out is so important for so many fucking reasons, but also for your masculinity. You feel like the man. It releases a um, something called endorphins, right? Endorphins are these hormones that are very happy. This is not just for men, by the way. This is for, like for women, women as well, right? It just whenever you work out, you release this. You basically put it this way: when you work out, you feel better after than you did before every single time, right? No matter how, how bad, how much of a bad day you're having, you always feel good after the gym. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you work out, okay? It's very, very vital that what we men, you know what I'm saying, are masculine, as masculine as we can be, right? It's not, I don't think it's a coincidence that when I was less masculine, I didn't get as many women. When I was less masculine, I didn't get as much respect from women as I get now, right? Now, don't get me wrong, I don't go around being like, oh yeah, Ooh, I'm, I'm macho man, I'm an alpha male, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck all that bullshit, man, right? I say what I don't fucking like. I say what I like. I speak my mind. I'm I'm confident and assertive, right? If you don't like it, you can go. That's the kind of fucking men's energy I've got. That's the kind of energy I carry around with me, right? If if you disrespect me, I don't give a fuck who you are. I'm going to call that shit out, right? If you speak to me in a, in a fucking mad tone, like, yo, who, who are you talking to right now? Like, l l l let's just dial this shit back a little bit. Like, who the fuck are you talking to, Right? Instead of being timid, yeah, like a lot of women are like this, right? Like, and this is feminine energy. Women should be like this, right, right? This is feminine energy. If so, if something's bothering them, guess what women do? They don't fucking say it. Guess what happens? Silent treatment. They get into a mood. Now they're sad. As a man, if something's bothering you, you fucking say it. As a masculine man, should I say it? Right? You don't, you, you don't do indirects like people can read your fucking mind. Hell fucking no. Right? Hell no. You feel what I'm saying? Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want it to get too fucking long. You feel me? Um, all the new subscribers and supporters, I appreciate you. All the old guys, you know who you are, man. I love you all. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you don't forget to comment, like the video. You get me? And I'm going to bring you another banger video, hopefully next week. If not, then I'll see you when I see you. All right? But much love, anyways. I'm out of this bitch. Love.